While six to eight years ago, some of the tools that I'm going to mention were really useful, today, they're just gonna waste your time. So when you read about them on the Black Hat forums or SEOs talking about how they can skyrocket your rankings, you should avoid them at all costs because they're gonna risk your rankings. Hey everyone, I'm Neil Patel, and today, I want to teach you four useless marketing tools that you're still using and you should stop wasting your time and money on. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel and if you're on YouTube, click the alert notification. The first tool is automated link building tools. A few years ago, you could use tools like Scrapebox or SE Nuke to build a ton of backlinks, which would end up helping your website rank better. But those days are gone. Since the Penguin update, Google has become more and more sophisticated with algorithms created to detect artificial backlink patterns. When you're using an automated link building tool, you're likely going to build irrelevant backlinks from pages that aren't really related to your content. This can hurt your rankings. The biggest problem is you'll leave footprints behind you. Google will be able to identify these patterns with your backlinks and they'll know that you're artificially inflating them and this is gonna either keep your rankings flat or it can actually hurt them at the same time. Google even has clear policies that forbid you from doing things like creating malicious backlinks. They go as far as even saying that creating links that weren't editorial place or vouched for by the site owners on the page, otherwise known as unnatural links, could be considered a violation of their guidelines. They will often either ignore these links or worst case, they could penalize you for these bad practices. And that's where most people don't get penalized, but still, why risk it? Why waste time on something that's not gonna help you rank any better? So I want you to stop using automated link building tools. Instead, you need to create value, put the user first, whether it's content, whether it's tools like Ubersuggest. You know, if you look at Ubersuggest, I've generated over 10,000 backlinks. How'd I do this? Purely by giving away something for free. That's helped tremendously for me over the years. And you don't have to create a tool like that or go as far as I have. You can use sites like Code Canyon, buy tools that have already existed, buy them for $10, $20, pop them on your site, and generate natural backlinks as well from that. The next tool you need to stop using, it's any text or content spinners. Spinning content in an automated way and rewriting articles has been done for ages. Right Back in 2011, people could just spin up, rotate up content on already popular articles from other sites, repurpose them, put them on their site, and they'd be like, wow, look at all these pages of content I'm creating. But now with the Panda algorithm update, Google now looks at this content being like, whoa, it provides very little value to a user. And if that's the case and your user metrics are terrible, your rankings are gonna plummet, not just for that page, but your whole site. If you have a lot of pages that are just spun up, they're not a great user experience, it can affect your whole site, not just those pages. So what you need to realize is creating content doesn't guarantee you rankings. Creating amazing content that people love is gonna give you a much better chance of ranking fairly well. Google has a pretty smart AI and they can easily identify variations of text that you have on your website that other people have and the places that you took it from. So instead of using these tools, what I want you to do is do research. People love research. They're more likely to link to articles that have research. Look for reputable sources and tie in that data into your article and cite your sources and make sure that you're writing high quality original content. The next tool that you're wasting your time on is LinkedIn lead generation bots. A lot of people say great things about using automated tools that generate you leads on LinkedIn. These tools can help you add dozens of contacts on a daily basis, hundreds on a weekly basis, do cold outreach and semi-personal messages selling your products, your services. So let's say you're a sales rep for a software company and you need to get in touch with as many potential clients as possible. The best thing to do on earth would be use an automated tool, right? Wrong. The main problem with this is that A, LinkedIn doesn't want you to use automation and it goes against their rules. And two, people know that you're sending them spammy messages. They're not gonna convert. You're gonna be a sales rep at a company or marketing person promoting some content and it's not gonna get you any love. On top of this, LinkedIn has decided that they're gonna battle up and fight people who are creating these Chrome extensions and automated tools and put them down for good. So instead what you wanna do is create valuable content on LinkedIn that people wanna read 
especially if it's video based because LinkedIn loves videos. You also can go live on LinkedIn, which does tremendously well as well. And by doing those things, you're going to get more followers from there as well. You can sell your content and services. Just think of it this way. If I create a live video on LinkedIn and I'm providing value, people are going to be like, oh, Neil, this is great. And within that video, not only getting more followers, more shares, more comments, more engagements, I can talk about my ad agency, Neil Patel Digital. And some people will go from my LinkedIn video to Neil Patel Digital and then become a customer. Last but not least, comment bots. Much like automated content creation tools, a lot of people have been using bots to automate commenting on other sites for years. This is why plugins like Akismet by WordPress are so popular. No one wants all these spammy blog comments. I literally get thousands and thousands of blog comments per day. Now, I even conducted an experiment to determine or not whether comment links have an effect on rankings. And believe it or not, they do. But when you use automated tools, you're leaving a lot of footprints behind you, plus you're providing no value to people. Those comments are just gonna get deleted or get caught in comment spam traps. So instead, if you wanna leave comments, write up something that's thoughtful, that helps people, not just the person who wrote the article, but other people reading it, and then leave it. When you leave relevant comments, A, people are gonna know about you and start following you. B, if they like what you have to say, they may check out your business. And C, they may end up converting into a customer. Now, Google's looking for spammy comments. You don't wanna associate your website with spammy comments because all it's gonna do is hurt your rankings. My recommendation is for you to think long-term. Don't take those quick hits being like, yeah, I just do this and my rankings are gonna increase. Anyone that tells you something that's too good to be true, chances are it is and it's just gonna hurt you in the long run. If you need help with your rankings, your digital marketing, check out my ad agency, NP Digital. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, tell people about it. Thank you for watching.